The Lord be with you. And also with you. Dear friends in Christ, on this most holy day in which our Lord Jesus passed over from death to life, the church invites her members dispersed throughout the word, world to gather in vigil and in prayer for this, our Passover of the Lord, in which by hearing his word and celebrating his sacraments, we share in his victory over death. Let us pray. O oh God, through your Son, you have bestowed upon your people the brightness of your light. Sanctify this fire and grant that in the Paschal Feast we may so burn with human heavenly desires that with pure minds we may attain to the festival of everlasting light through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. My brothers and sisters, the light of Christ. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. Rejoice now, heavenly hosts and choirs of angels, and let your trumpets shout salvation to the victory of our mighty King. Rejoice and sing now all round the earth, bright with a glorious splendor, for darkness has been vanquished by our eternal King. Rejoice and be glad now, Mother Church, and let your holy courts and radiant light resound with the praises of your people. All you who stand near this marvelous and holy flame, pray with me to God Almighty, for the grace to sing the worthy praise of his great life. Through Jesus Christ, his Son, our Lord, who lives and reigns with him in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. 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 The Lord be with you. And also with you. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right to give him thanks and praise. It is truly right and good always and everywhere with our whole heart and mind and voice to praise you, the invisible, almighty, and eternal God, and your only begotten Son, Jesus Christ our Lord. For he is the true Paschal Lamb, who at the feast of the Passover paid for us the debt of Adam's sin, and by his blood delivered your faithful people. This is the night when you brought our fathers, the children of Israel, out of bondage in Egypt, and led them through the Red Sea onto dry land. This is the night when all who believed in Christ are delivered from the gloom of sin and are restored to grace and holiness and life. This is the night when Christ broke the bonds of death and hell and rose victorious from the grave. Our wonderful and beyond our knowing, O God, is your mercy and loving kindness to us, that to redeem a slave you gave a son, how holy is the night when wickedness is put to flight and sin is washed away. It restores innocence to the fall, fallen and joy to those who mourn, casts out pride and hatred and brings peace and concord. How blessed is this night when earth and heaven are joined and man is reconciled to God. Holy Father, accept our sacrifice, the offerings of these candles in your honor May they shine continually to drive away all darkness. And may Christ, the morning star who knows no setting, find it ever burning. He who gives his light to all creation and who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And also with you. Let us pray. Almighty God, through your only begotten Son, Jesus Christ, who overcame death and opened to us the gate of everlasting life, grant that we, who celebrate with joy the day of the Lord's resurrection, may be raised from death of sin by your living Spirit. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. 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 Please respond as you are able. Hallelujah. When Israel came out of Egypt, the house of Jacob, from a people of strange speech. Jacob became thou sanctuary, and Israel his dominion. The sea beheld it and fled. Jordan turned and went back. The mountains skipped like rams, and the little hills like young sheep. 
What ailed you, O sea, that you fled? O Jordan, that you turned back? You mountains that you skipped like rams, you little hills like young sheep. Tremble, O earth, at the presence of the Lord, at the presence of the God of Jacob. To turn, turn the hard rock into a pool of water, and to turn stone into a cross spring. A reading from Paul's letter to the Romans. Do you not know that all of us who have been baptized into Christ Jesus were baptized into his death? Therefore we have been buried with him by baptism into death, so that just as Christ was raised from the dead by the glory of the Father, so we too might walk in newness of life. For if we have been united with him in a death like his, we will certainly be united with him in a resurrection like his. We know that our old self was crucified with him so that the body of sin might be destroyed and we might no longer be enslaved to sin. For whoever has died is freed from sin. But if we have died with Christ, we believe that we will also live with him. We know that Christ, being raised from the dead, will never die again. Death no longer has dominion over him. The death he died, he died to sin once for all. But the life he lives, he lives to God. So you must also consider yourselves dead to sin and alive to God in Christ Jesus. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Holy Gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ according to Matthew. Glory to you, Lord Christ. After the Sabbath, as the first day of the week was dawning, Mary Magdalene and the other Mary went to see the tomb. And suddenly there was a great earthquake, for an angel of the Lord descending from heaven came and rolled back the stone and sat on it. His appearance was like lightning, and his clothing white as snow. For fear of him the guards shook and became like dead men. But the angel said to the women, Do not be afraid. I know that you are looking for Jesus who was crucified. He is not here, for he has been raised. As he said, Come, see the place where he lay. Then go quickly and tell his disciples, He has been raised from the dead. And indeed he is going ahead of you to Galilee. There you will see him. This is my message for you. So they left the tomb quickly with fear and great joy and ran to tell his disciples. Suddenly Jesus met them and said, Greetings. And they came to him, took hold of his feet and worshipped him. Then Jesus said to them, Do not be afraid. Go and tell my brothers to go to Galilee. There they will see me. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Christ. Speak in the name of the risen Lord, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. Good morning. Good morning. It seems only appropriate that we would celebrate this Easter celebration in a place where Caroline Church first began, just a few feet down in the barn over 300 years ago. It's amazing to think that we're part of that history, uh, part of a celebration of God in community amongst us, God being always there. Uh, although admittedly sometimes hard to remember just how much God is there. Um, certainly in the midst of our lives, in the, in, the, in the middle of the busyness and the worry and the concern, um, we have this opportunity to see him, but often we don't. It just speaks to the condition of our human soul. And even in the season of Lent, with all the things we're busy uh, doing and being and working to serve into and, and work into, it, it's hard to remember the reason sometimes that we do it. Um, but the example of it and the best expression of it is the expression of people willing to come together to sacrifice their time and to give that for the sake of something just a little bit bigger. And that's very much what we continue to do as this Christian community. We come together uh, in the midst of all the, the, the differences of us, in the midst of all the challenges and the changes that we face, 
so that we can come together to see a new and a different Christ that's represented to us today. And so today we welcome that Christ into our lives. Not just another Easter, but another opportunity to see Christ different and new and special and unique. How will Christ meet us this year? How will we see God working through us for the opportunity of ourselves and the community? How can we walk into that light? And as we said in one of the most picturesque places I can imagine in Setauket this morning, we're here to collectively remember not only the people we have been, but the people now that God is calling us to be. Amen. Amen. And now, as our Savior Jesus Christ has taught us, we are bold to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, through the Paschal mystery, dear friends, we are buried with Christ by baptism into his death and raised by him to newness of life. I call upon you, therefore, now that our Lenten observance has now ended, to renew the solemn promises and vows of holy baptism by which we at once renounce Satan and all his works and promise to serve God faithfully in his holy and Catholic church. My brothers and sisters, do you reaffirm your renunciation of evil and renew your commitment to Jesus Christ? I do. Do you believe in God the Father? I believe in God the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. Do you believe in Jesus Christ, the Son of God? I believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord. He was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day he rose again. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. Do you believe in the Holy Spirit? I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Will you continue in the apostles' teaching and fellowship in the breaking of bread and in the prayers? I will, with God's help. Will you persevere in resisting evil, and whenever you fall into sin, repent and return to the Lord? I will, with God's help. Will you proclaim by word and example the good news of God and Christ? I will, with God's help. Will you seek and serve Christ in all persons, loving your neighbor as yourself? I will, with God's help. Will you strive for justice and peace among all people and respect the dignity of every human being? I will, with God's help. The Almighty God, the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who has given us a new birth by water and the Holy Spirit and bestowed upon us the forgiveness of sins, Keep us in everlasting life by grace in Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. My brothers and sisters, happy Easter. Happy, happy Easter. Easter. May the peace of the Lord be with you all. Peace be with you. 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 Happy Easter. Um, today, probably. Uh, I'll try. <laughs> Oh, yeah. Um, it'll be on our YouTube channel and like on our website. And then I'm streaming the. Um, Wait, it's either 11. 11, right? Yeah. Oh, it's the 9 and 11. Yeah. Well, 9 is not being here, but the okay. 11 will be streamed live. I can show her on another day and, like, it doesn't matter much to her either way. Well, as promised, this morning we are going to try and sing. <laughs> I was wondering, rhetorically speaking, how many cups of coffee have we had this morning? <laughs> All right, we'll be singing of the four four verses. We'll be singing verse one, and then verse four. 
And you all know this one, so it should be easy. Jesus Christ is risen today. Alleluia. Our triumphant holy day. Alleluia. Who did once upon the cross. Alleluia. Suffer to redeem our laws. Alleluia. Sing we to our God above. Alleluia. Praise eternal as his love. Alleluia. Praise him, O ye heavenly host. Alleluia. Father, Son, and Holy Ghost. Alleluia. God them. Let us bless the Lord. Alleluia. Alleluia. Thanks be to God. Alleluia. Alleluia. Have a wonderful Easter. Thank you all for coming out this morning. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs>